All right, here we are on page 314. Let's go over some word problems and uh, solve these. Find out how far a car can travel on a certain amount of gas. Multiply the car's fuel efficiency in miles per gallon by the gas used in gallons. Use this information from the table uh, for 12 and 13. So here's our table that we're going to be using. It told us what to do with that information. Multiply the fuel efficiency in miles per gallon by the gallons used. So write an equation that could be used to, to find out how many miles a hybrid SUV can travel in the city on 20 gallons of gas. Okay. So 20 gallons of gas and that's, oh, that's in the city because notice it's in the ci city and highway is different. So, well, they told us what to do. Multiply. What do we multiply? Fuel efficiency. So the fuel efficiency in the city is 36. Multiply times. And then they also told us um, how many gallons of gas used, 20. And that is the miles traveled. Now we don't even need to solve this. They just told us to write an equation. Now, so this equation could be used to figure out how many miles it can travel, but they don't want us, to, they just want us to write the equation. Okay. <clears throat> Number 13, a sedan traveled 504 miles on the highway on a full tank of gas write an equation that could be used to find the number of gallons the tank holds. Okay, so we're dealing with highway, a sedan, so we go to sedan, highway, it's 28, and we know the miles traveled is 504, so 504 is equal to however many miles per gallon they get, 28 in this case, times um, how much a full tank of gas is. That's what we don't know. So that's going to be our variable. We'll use G for gas. So there's our equation. Now we could use that to solve out, to figure out how many uh, gallons of gas the sedan has, but they haven't asked us to do that. Okay. Number 14, Sonia was born in 1998. Carmen was born 11 years after Sonia. If you wrote an equation to find the year in which Carmen was born, what operation would you use in your equation? Okay, so if you're finding 1998 and then 11 years after Carmen was born, 11, Sonia was born in 1998, Carmen was born 11 years after Sonia. We were trying to find out Carmen. Hmm, let's think about this one. All right. Uh, so there must be more than one way to do this. But the way I would do this one is I would take 1998, which is the year Sonia was born, and since Carmen is after Sonia, it would be add 11 years to that, and that would tell you when Sonia was born. So 2009. Now the book says subtraction as the, po but it does say possible answer subtraction. So maybe there, maybe the book would do a number minus, yeah, 1998 equals 11, which that could, you could do it that way as well. To me, this is much easier though. So I would use addition. But both of these equations will both give you 2009 as your answer. Okay. All right. Let's go on to number 15. 
A magazine has 110 pages. There are 23 full page ads and 14 half page ads. The rest of the magazine consists of articles. Write an equation that can be used to find the number of pages of articles in the magazine. Okay. So we have 110 total pages. Let's just kind of work this out. We may do some erasing here, so don't be frustrated if I erase something. I'm just working this out. We have 110. Um, we know 23 are full page, 14 are half page. Okay, so half page, that would mean half of those. Half, 14 half pages, so that would be seven whole pages. 14 divided by two would be seven whole pages. Okay, so 23 plus seven. Now again, they don't want us to solve this, so I'm gonna have to be careful and not actually solve this. 23 plus seven plus the variable, which should equal 110. So we can say 110 equals 23 plus 14 half page ads, right? 14, but they're half of a page. Plus, um, we'll say A for articles, and that should give us our total. So there's my equation. 110 equals 23 plus 14 over 2, and the reason I'm using 14 over 2 is because it's 14 half page ads. So that would be seven total pages once we did the math, but they don't want us to do the math just yet. Plus, the rest is going to be articles. We don't know, or, but we could figure it out. In fact, there's going to be 80 articles if you did the math. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one where we will start on our homework.